There will come a time in every man's life when he will have the need to tie a heavy kettlebell down to a rack on a fat bike and go to the beach. Here's how it's done. So, we have a system of knots here. I started with a bowline, which is going to be wrapped around the horn of the kettlebell. I'm going to pull that through. Now what you'll see is this paracord is purpose dedicated. That is, I only use it for this one task. So I already had an alpine butterfly tied into this rope. Now in terms of the proper location for it on the bell to get, I guess, maximum support and tension, I like to have it tied off right here at the middle equator of the kettlebell. Now on my rack, which is an old man mountain rack for the Silly Pugsley, which I love and highly recommend, I come down underneath the rack and then I have, I am fortunate enough to have with this rack, a nice little hook right there. So I will come up with that hook. Now I'm going to do the trucker's hitch. I'm gonna pull this rope through that alpine butterfly. Now here's the tricky part. I don't have any tension on the other side, so I don't wanna yank down on this. Honestly, the kettlebell so heavy probably won't move. But I do wanna be careful with how much tension I'm applying and keep a close eye on things. So that's pretty good tension right there. Like I'm yanking down on that pretty good. I'm gonna be happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a half hitch on a bite. I'm really going to yank that thing up in there. So that's my half hitch on a bite, which closes off the trucker's hitch. So now what I want to do is for just an additional layer of security is I'm going to run this running end through the bite on the top of the trucker's hitch. And I'm going to pull that through to make the Ashley stopper knot which is just one additional layer of security. So now that I've done that, I am going to just get rid of the rest of this excess cable. And that's just gonna involve looping it around. I'm trying to keep it relatively tight. So now that I'm running out of cord, this is where I get a tad bit lazy, but it's never failed me in the past. I'll just tie it off with an overhand knot somewhere close. Plus, I don't have far to go. Yep, that's just to keep it from dangling around. Now remember, even though the loops that I made are somewhat loose, the actual trucker's hitch that I'm using to tie it down with is quite taut. So now I'm going to repeat this exact process on the other side and I'll be able to transport my kettlebell relatively safely.